Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and today I'm here to reveal the latest collections from Chow Bella. Um, there's three new collections. There's Notre V, Sign of Times, and Aesop's Fables. And so for each one of these collections, we will have the 12 sheet 12 by 12 core design, the eight sheet 12 by 12 patterns collection, the 12 sheet 8 by 8 core designs, which is uh, just a scaled down version of the 12 by 12 core designs, 9 sheet A4, and the 6 by 6, which has 24 sheets in it. So I'm going to go over these piece by piece uh, so you guys can see what the collections look like. Um, this one I'm really liking. So I'm going to start with the core design, which is this one. And let me split it because there's... There is somewhere this splits. Here we go. There we go. So here's the 12 by 12 pad, one each of 12 double sided papers. So there's the cover. I think it's gorgeous. Look at this. Oh, these are so pretty. Um, this is also very lovely. Nice bold um, images. They look, I don't know if it's coming across. Let me adjust my lighting a little bit. Hang tight, Let's see if we can get a little bit, yeah. So this very much looks like watercolor, it's gorgeous. Okay, and then we've got some cut aparts. These are always fun to use. I love these fountain pens. These fussy cut corners would look pretty. And then of course we've got these two um, tags, very beautiful. So this is nice that they pull in some masculine images too. I love this. You know, she's anonymous. <laughs> and again, um, these colors, it's really saturated, it's gorgeous. And again, it looks like, a, you know, just a vibrant watercolor. Two little leopards. Again, this is Chow Bella's, one of Chow Bella's latest collections, and this is Nota V. Lots of cut aparts. I like that the flip side of the cut aparts is uh, patterns. So if you don't want to go with a fussy cutting them or don't want to cut out all of them, this is really pretty. You can um, use a few and then flip it over and still uh, make use of the the rest of it. These are cut aparts. I love stamps. They're so easy to embellish um, your albums with. So this side is cut up, this is cut aparts on both sides, which is nice. And these images, you know, fit on the back. So if you cut it out, you if you don't want to post it, uh, glue it on top of cardstock, you've got a front and back. Here we go. And isn't she lovely? And this is really pretty. Okay, so that is the 12 by 12 collection pack. The next thing we're gonna go over is what's called the 12 by 12 patterns pad. And it has eight double-sided um, papers. Let's spread out a little bit more here. There we go. These doors are pretty. And of course, I'm a huge fan of fountain pens, so this is pretty. And there's just a smaller version. And then we've got these. These uh, wind up usually being like five and a half by five and a half um, cut aparts, which make for good embellishments or inserts in your albums. A whole sheet of stamps. Wow. See, I'm seeing this at the same time you guys are, so I haven't seen it. This is pretty. I can definitely see how I would use these stamps to embellish an album or cards. This is beautiful. Okay, I could see me fussy cutting those papers and then maybe putting a fussy cut bird or two out there. Okay, and then this is the last sheet. And that is the what's called the Patterns Pad. And again, there are eight double-sided papers. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to show you, and I'm not going to go through page by page, is the 8x8 version of the collection pack. It's the same as the 12x12. Um, it just uh, is in a smaller scale. Now they also have an A4, and the A4 has unique uh, patterns in it. So I'm going to flip through this for you. 
So these are scaled down versions of the 12 by 12, but they're actually um, created to be cut aparts, where the 12 by 12, these images are much, much bigger. <clears throat> the A4 pack is perfect for card makers. It's also a great pack for cutting apart and embellishing an album. Tags and circles. These little metal um, buttons are really pretty. More corners, stamps, tags. Really cute. And of course, if you don't want these cut aparts or if you find other cut aparts in the 12 by 12, you can use the flip side pattern. I <laughs> can't pick up the paper, there we go. And that's the last of the A4 pack. Now the last item we have in the collection, and this is true for all the collections I'm gonna show you, is uh, the six by six pad. And this is, let me double check my notes. The six by six comes with 24 sheets and they are unique um, to the six by six. So you'll see some of the patterns scale down but it's not the same as the 12 by 12 pack. <clears throat> That's pretty. And then these would make for embe nice embellishments on flaps in your albums, um, where some of the other cut aparts, they looked a little too big for me, uh, a little too massive. So the six by six, if you're a six by six mini album maker, this is, this is perfect scale. And of course you get uh, two of each. And that's why there's 24. So you get to utilize the front and back of each one of the patterns where in the 12 by 12 collection, you just get one of each. There we go. And the birds. some foliage, oops, and the doors, upside down. Okay, so actually having flipped through all this, I think it is the same as the 12 by 12. I have to go back and check on it. But like I said, I'm looking at these at the same time you guys are. So that was the Notre V. The next one is Sign of the Times, and I really like this one too. Um, it, it's, it's unique, I like it. So Sign of the Times, I'm gonna set aside our six by six real quick. And we'll go through the 12 by 12 collection pack first. And I just think, I don't know, it's it's got a lot of variety and it's got these sort of engineering images, um, botanical drawings and um, anatomical drawings. I just think it's really interesting. So there we go. Here's one that's just sea life, and I think this sheet is really pretty. There we go, and then we've got some shells on the back. And then here we've got some botanicals, some birds. And a nice simple collage. Lots of cut aparts here. So these are great card toppers, um, but also can be used as inserts or embellishments on flaps. So I feel like so far we've had botanical, we've got science, here's our space. And then this would be time. <laughs> so I, it's really interesting. Like I said, I haven't seen these yet, so I'm really liking this collection. I can see some interesting things coming out of this. I like it when they do this. Um, it, it's easy to put a photo on top of it, but you know, because just imagine this kind of popping out, but also, you can go in here and select some of the sentiments that you'd like to put on your uh, pages for embellishment. Okay, now we have flight, a study in flight and aerodynamics. Got some wings, it's beautiful. Oof, I like this side too. <laughs> okay.
beautiful. This is Futuristic Automata. Here's another science. I like this a lot. So this is Chemistry and Elements. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's fun. Okay, more cut-aparts. These are beautiful. A nice watercolor back. Oh, you know what? Oh, no, we're, this is the last page in the navigation. That's interesting. This is the last page in the collection pack. Now we're going to review what's in the pattern pack. And there's eight double-sided papers in the pattern pack. Okay, got some alphabets so you can spell out your own name or title for your um, either photo or cover. Okay, the human body, bones. And then here's some six by six cut aparts. So you can either use, oh, I love, I love this. You can either use these as card toppers or inserts in your album or even feature it on a page. These patterns are really pretty and easy to work with. Okay. So there we go, study, time, life, science, future. Everything that's sort of featured. Oh, this is pretty in the book. And then some more cut aparts. That's a pretty green. Look at this. Oh, I'm loving it. Okay. Uh, I haven't gone through all of them yet, but so far I'm really enjoying this one. Okay, some paper on the back side. Then we've got a, a ledger page. And then all these beautiful, um, the beautiful lettering here is gorgeous. I like it a lot. Okay, so now the last thing we'll go through, well, um, we've got the 8x8 collection pack, which is like the 12x12 12 12 collection pack. And it turns out, I think, that the 6x6 is the same too. Let's look at the last page. It is. It's just in a smaller format. So you've got 6x6 and you get two of each. Six by six, eight by eight, or 12 by 12 in the collection pack. Uh, one of each in the 12 by 12, one of each in the eight by eight, two of each in the six by six. Okay, now we're looking at the A4 pad. And these are similar to, uh, cut aparts in the other collections. Um, they're slightly different in that I think that these are uh, portrait style instead of square or landscape. So they are slightly different. These are unique to this pack, and my guess is all of these are unique to this pack. That's kind of what Chow Bella does, is they add some of the unique cut-aparts to the A4. And to me, they're scaled just right. Got some cut-aparts here. More cut-aparts, and of course a beautiful pattern on the back. Two very large cut aparts with a nice pattern on the back. More tags and cut aparts. And this is, the, I didn't see this in the other pack, so this is unique to the A4 that that piece is. <clears throat> oh, this is lovely. Diary, journal. Um, I would probably use one or both of those on my cover sheet, uh, album cover. So that concludes sign of the times. So the last collection I'm going to share with you guys is Aesop's Fables. And I'm sure this is going to be a very popular one. Ooh, it's getting hard. I don't know. I like them all. I like them all. So here's Aesop's Fables. Here's our cover sheet. This fox is super cute. It's got this strawberry pattern that I absolutely love. Okay. So this is suitable for um, 12 by 12 layouts. Um, I would use it in a mini album because that's that's what I do. Um, but this collection is very much suitable to a 12 by 12 traditional scrapbook as well. <clears throat> There's the back side. <clears throat> Here we go with the fox and the crow. And of course the 
what you see over here on the side is the story. So there was once a, a, a countryman who possessed the most wonderful hen ever. So in addition to the beautiful images, you've actually got text here. So you could make this a, um, a child's album um, and have their photos intermingled with the story itself. And look at these beautiful cut aparts. Right, lovely. Okay. Here we go. Lovely. I love hot air balloons in anything. <laughs> nice sort of watercolor splash on the back side. There's another fox and grapes. Did I already show you this one? It seems like that's a repeat. I could have my collections mixed up. Nope. This is part of the 12 by 12. Something's not right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, that's right. I thought I mixed up the collect the uh, patterns pack with it, but I haven't. There we go. Nice, beautiful card topper. Nice, simple pattern on the back. I can see this on a spine. Could cut out that and just have an image, a photo there in a 12 by 12 layout. You could actually do the same on all three and then maybe stagger um, an image just below it. <clears throat> okay, so that is the collection pack. Or they actually call it paper pad. They call it a paper pad. So that's the paper pad. And this is the patterns pad. Okay. Got our cut aparts here. Look how beautiful this is. It's so rich. And then there's those strawberries I like. It's a pretty pattern with little bees. And then there's a larger version of the strawberries. A whole sheet of cut aparts. The blue stripe in the back. These are pretty. I like the the scroll and that it's not just a plain simple uh, tag edge like this. Craft paper, and that this is probably my. One of my favorites in the collection. I think I might want to fussy cut some of the bees out and uh, make them tab pulls or something like that. It's very pretty. Very pretty. So that's the patterns pad. And then um, you've got the six by six, which is two each of the 12 by 12 pad, the eight by each, which is one each of the 12 by 12 pad, just various scales. And then here is the A4 pack. Oh, look at this. These are fun. Okay, more cut aparts. And again, you get the pattern option on the back. That's unique to the A4. Oh, look, here's that B. It's so cute. I like all of these. That's pretty. Okay, more cut aparts. Which the A5, A4. Four, I always think of as sort of my embellishment pack. And then I would use my patterns um, and not use cut aparts in the larger scale. That's just my preference. I like the smaller scale for some of the tags. <laughs> these are all very cute. Okay, the blue stripe, and we've got these yellow flowers. And on the flip side, we've got some more cut aparts. Okay, so that is Aesop's table. So let's go ahead and just bring in the collection pack for each one of these real quick. So there's Aesop's table, sign of the times. And then last, but certainly not least, is Notre V. So all three of these collections are new. They're available in our shop right now. Um, if you 
scroll down to the description there'll be links to the shop um, but also you can just go under brands under Chow Bella and they'll be listed at the top um, and all like I said all of these are available and in stock now so and I have no idea which one she's going to ask me to work with and I don't really care because I like them all sometimes I like one others you know one pattern more than the other but I really like all three of these. They're just so different. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in. This is Daphne from Strap and Create. Um, as always, we appreciate you guys coming over and spending some time with us here at Scrap and Create. And if you could, take a moment to like, subscribe, and share. Um, the Clicking on that like button really helps us out a lot. And it's, you know, it just takes a moment of your time and it's free. And it helps reveal us to other people that are like-minded in the scrapping community. So that's one of the values that we get out of you actually clicking the like button is uh, YouTube will put us in the recommended slot uh, for other like-minded um, viewers. So if you could take a moment to do that, we'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for tuning in to Scrap and Create. This is Daphne. We'll see you soon.